there are certain opportunities that you just don't pass up, and I think a chance at a level 1 bull elk is one of those, so if we can quite literally smoke that guy, we'll go and take a look. But we're back out here on Layton today in multiplayer, and I think the thing about Layton with the changes with the Rancho update is that it's just going to take a lot of time to explore, and before we go and check that, I think there may have been one bull elk in there that I didn't see. I like to generally take those level 1 male opportunities when I can, but I like to make sure there's nothing special in there, so I think that was just a pretty big 3, but I think exploring any map in single player, just trying to find all new zones and hotspots, there's a bit of a temptation to just kind of change the time and maybe sort of get through maybe a more boring zone, and almost forgot to tax that guy for the Hall of Shame, but anyway, in multiplayer, you're at the mercy of whatever time the host wants it to be, and therefore sometimes you're just going to go and explore other places that you otherwise wouldn't. And that's kind of my hope with this particular hunt. Just go around and see if we can maybe find those spots that we otherwise might miss. Well, that didn't take too long. We have a level 5 blacktail out here. It is the small rack. I want to actually alert him and get him to stop. Attentive works just as well, but... Again, like, this is so, so different, and we talked about it last time we were here on Layton. Blacktail from 5 to 9, for the entire existence of Layton Lakes until this most recent update, would drink and just be near the water, but now, Blacktail feed that time frame, and this guy just walked in front of us. Now, like I said, he is the small rack, but he had a pretty good estimate, I think up to 190, and he has a diamond, I think, barely... Yeah, at 178.6, so Diamond is 177.5 for them. I think it's the fact that he's a little bit extra wide. Because I would say, like, the normal frame for the small rack doesn't quite extend this far outwards, but that's a pretty cool early kill. We just about messed that up, though. It was the fact that we shot so far back, and he was sort of moving forward when we did. So we probably aimed around here, or maybe even further forward, and wouldn't have gotten that. But the slow-moving... Uh, 50 caliber round combined with the fact that the lungs kind of go upwards towards the back is the only reason we actually got that diamond but pretty cool it's sort of one of those things I mean yeah we are exploring down towards this lake anyway but would we have found it if we were in single player and maybe well I guess definitely not because we checked here before I just wanted to see what else might be around definitely kind of succeeding already as far as finding cool stuff just by exploring around we have yet to address why we're actually carrying the muzzleloader today, and it's really to kind of help with our loadout. So the other weapon that we have that we don't normally is the compound bow, and the reason is, I figure because Layton did get a pop reset, there's a decent chance that there might be like a diamond duck or a diamond rabbit or something like that around, and I really do want to just get that one platform filled that has just been sitting there like as a non-bow kill in the hallway of all bow kills. And because it's a small animal platform, Layton is one of the few maps that has multiple uh, species that could go on a platform like that. And maybe with the reset, we'll be able to find something. So, a little bit of a practice shot on that duck. 53 meters and just barely got across the top of it with the arrow, but nice little gold. And maybe we can take the occasional practice shot here and there just to make sure we'll be good if an opportunity arises. I don't imagine we'll get this lucky again. But if we can just have rabbits hop right to us, we're definitely going to take that opportunity, and I believe this is the best one. There are four here. Not so sure why they suddenly just completely change path. We might have to improvise here. But, yeah, if we can get that to lock on there. Kind of a tough shot, just because he was on the move and a pretty small animal, but I'm pleased at least with the two shots we've taken. With a rangefinder sight and everything, we've managed to hit both of them. And I think that's a good sign for, you know, should a level 3 of either of those species pop up, we should be able to make that shot. And again, barely. But if it hits, it counts, and even a gold out of that guy. I just can't remember if we checked, and one of the moose is doing quite an odd dance. But right down here in Runaki by the outpost, I think we were only here early in the morning when we checked Leighton before, and... It seems to be a really good spot for a moose once again, and a long time ago, this was like the spot to be for them. And I would say for the past probably couple of years, that's not really been the case, but I think we may try to get that level 3. 
tough heart shot to make with that cow in the way, but it's going to be lungs, and that's why I wanted to carry the muzzleloader since I wanted to bring the bow as well. It allows us to take those bigger game animals with a less than ideal shot and still get them down good and quickly, but I'm looking forward to checking this area then in single player. For a really long time, I'd say like the majority or nearly the majority of the moose population was all in Balmont, but if they're spread out and down in here some, it's going to be a spot to look at for sure. It's not exactly huge by any means. I mean, a 166 isn't bad. And we were just behind the heart. I think the cow is blocking too much of the chest then to really have any chance. But like I said, good to know that there's that many moose down there. Because I know, I think it was right outside the outpost on one of EW's streams. TK shot a diamond elk. So I wanted to look there for elk. And I'm pretty sure we never made it back down here for moose. And this is, again, kind of the entire point. Just being in these areas that we... Otherwise, maybe you wouldn't have checked. For a second there, I thought we had a chance, but unfortunately, the 4 to 5 estimate tells us that it's going to be just a gold level 2 jackrabbit. I have to make the shot. I don't even know if we got it. I think we did. Pretty sure, yeah. I'm not sure if we got to spot everything that was in here, but it seemed like it was just going to hop away, so I figured we'd better take the shot before it got any further. And yeah, the 5 to 6... Ooh. That worked pretty good. But the 5 to 6 weight can be a diamond level 2, and that's the max weight SME you'd see on a level 3 as well, but 4 to 5 score definitely confirms that it's not going to be over that 6.3 mark. That was an interesting kind of shot, though. I can't help wanting to include this kill from yesterday's livestream in this video, because the concept was basically the same, kind of exploring around Leighton and trying to learn the new hotspots. Now, the weapons are going to be different, so that part doesn't add up. But everything else was there, and it was a respawn from another kill in a past video. So, for those of you that didn't see it, I wanted to have it here. I don't see any big ones. There ought to be white tail. Yeah, there we go. Oh, that's a big one. 260 to 301. So that 100% respawn from the piebald. That's like the biggest rack they can have. Well, let's go see what that fella scores. That's a big rack. I wouldn't be shocked if he cracks 270. I mean, 260 is already the minimum, but... He looks just huge. We'll have to see... Because we're using the 4570. I'd like to get into, like, 100. Every now and then I find the lever action's a little less than reliable at long range. I bet he's max weight. I would be willing to bet this is 100 kg whitetail. Just because my latent respawns are stupid. It's either nothing or max weight diamonds. 100 kg and 275.3. I really think he's somewhere well into the 270s. Okay, he's starting to notice us, so I think we'll call 90 meters good. Lovely. Go figure. 274.2. I say I want him to be huge. 276. I don't think he's wide enough. I would like to redact my guess. 272. Point. 12. Ah, so close. He is max weight, though. I knew it. The odds that we can even do this are not that great. I swear we should just use the bow all the time. I don't, I don't even know what's happening anymore when we use it, but we just shot straight up through what unfortunately was a pretty tiny duck. But, like, what else can we even do with this thing? that we haven't already done. We're making running shots on Javelina lately. Whatever that just was on a mallard that flew over us. Like, first try and everything, that's the the weird part. Because if we were able to, you know, because we're firing tracer arrows, get several shots off since they're not really going to deviate from the course they're on, that would make a little more sense to me. But just something about the bow lately, and maybe it's the range finding sight. Everything's so intuitive and it just keeps on working, but... I don't think there's a better high note to end on, so I think we're going to go back to probably the second trophy lodge and take a look at our diamond blacktail, maybe in a multi-mount with a puma or mountain lion. I don't know that I've mentioned this in a video yet, but I love the fact that they made it where you can actually change the direction that the rectangular platforms face now. It just, for this particular pose, I think works a lot better to face this way, and by the way, that is not the, like, default direction. In the past, it would have had to face like this, so I just think it looks a lot better. And this is a dark red diamond mountain line that we shot not that long ago, so it's cool to actually get to use that in a multi-mount, and nice to add a new diamond black tail to that. And 
unfortunately, despite the pretty cool last bow kill there, no diamond to put in the main lodge for that little platform, but I think we might do that a little bit more. Carry like the muzzleloader or some weapon that's good for most species on the map, and then have the bow just in case. But anyway, that's going to do it for this video, so thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.